Good evening and welcome back to Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Zach Seminar. When Ole Miss was handed harsh penalties by the NCAA Infractions Committee back on Friday, it was expected a firestorm of movement would take place with players attempting to transfer from the program and be eligible to play elsewhere without sitting out a season. But the way Ole Miss chose to handle the situation backfired. Ole Miss initially would only grant permission for players to contact schools outside of the SEC and neglected players offers to transfer to eight non-conference opponents that the Rebels will face over the next two seasons. That move, as noted, was quickly hit with backlash. On Tuesday, the athletic department made an abrupt change of policy and lifted all transfer restrictions. Jerry and Street and the Rebels second leading receiver Van Jefferson are two players who requested permission to reach out to schools with the plan to transfer before being met with the unprecedented restrictions. Several other Rebels are also expected to be on their way out the door in the near future. And that's going to leave Matt Luke with a daunting task with early signing period upon us. The Ole Miss track and field team won't have to wait too much longer to get their indoor season underway as the program released their 2018 schedule today. It kicks off January 12th at UAB for the Blazer invite. The indoor season runs through March 10th with the NCAA championships at Texas A&M. The Rebels will host two home meets, both in the outdoor season, March 31st, the Ole Miss Classic, and again on April 13th and 14th in the Joe Walker invite. Last night, the William Carey Crusaders dropped a heartbreaking contest with Mississippi College 75-74. Adrian Williams had 16 points on 7 of 7 from the field for the Crusaders, who are now 5-3 and three on the year. They host Cumberland on Saturday. Some coaching search news of the SEC. Arkansas has hired its replacement for Brett Bielema, selecting SMU's Chad Morris to fill their void. The 49-year-old Morris will get a 6-year, $21 million contract. Morris leaves the Mustangs after compiling a 14 and 22 record finished with only one winning season in three years, that being a seven and five showing this year. The Texas native was a longtime high school coach in the state before beginning his collegiate career in Tulsa back in 2010. He then spent four years as the O coordinator in, uh, at Clemson. Brett Bielema was fired after the Hogs' season-ending loss to Missouri last month. To the chagrin of some, Roger Goodell has signed a five-year contract extension to remain commissioner of the NFL. According to sources, the deal will make Goodell in excess of $200 million over the life of the contract with about $40 million annually if owners approve all the bonuses and all the incentives that are met. The six members of the NFL Compensation Committee, which had been granted permission to negotiate the extension, said it supported the signed contract in a letter to the NFL. Today, the New York Yankees introduced Aaron Boone as the next skipper of the Bronx Bombers after he finalized a three-year deal to succeed Joe Girardi as manager. Boone, who served as an analyst for ESPN's Major League Baseball broadcast the last several years, has never been a manager or even a coach at any level since retiring in 2009. 44-year-old is known for his 11th inning home run in the 2003 AL Championship Series at one in Game 7 and sent the Yankees out of the World Series. Boone played 13 seasons in the bigs, six different teams. And the one thing that shocked me the most, I was looking up some stuff on Booney, is he played half of a season in New York. I know him as a New York Yankee. He played <laughs> a half season there, Mark. You know that, but, yeah, but I didn't. He, yeah, but he got the hit. Heard around the world. I didn't even. I, if, if I would have guessed, I would have thought he played about eight or ten years. No, right, just a with half the season. Yankees. Yeah. No, no. The big Marlin and, and Red as well. Yeah, so. Make it a splash. Yeah. Thanks.